All right. If it's anything in writing, we can read. Okay. Oh, look at that. Clear prop. <laughs> How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got wild over today. What's up? Hey, good morning. Doing all right? Yeah. Warming up a little bit. Can I interest you in some Lance Neacock sandwich cookies, lemon cream flavor? Oh, is that a trick question? <laughs> We're not sponsored by Lance. Well, yes, you can. But we would love to be. We eat. Uh, we've we've shown these in a couple of videos. We're trying to give you guys a little behind the scenes look every now and again. But we eat mountains of Lance Neacock sandwich cookies, lemon cream variety. We eat a lot of the Lance products. What I'm proud of, this is a six pack rather than the four pack you've been buying. Yeah, well, this is this because I found these at the Dollar General, well, I think it was. So the Dollar it, General wasn't hard to find, was it? No, that's true. Are we gonna eat them on camera? Mm. <laughs> now I'll have, to, I'll have to have the audio, you know, do your, your chewing and chomping out, but love this stuff. <laughs> Not sponsored, wish we were. <laughs> Because <laughs> we probably paid, we probably paid for Lance's uh, fuel bill in the last, you know, year and a half or whatever. But anyway, so I'm gonna get to that here in a sec. We got an awesome video for you guys today. We're at a Paystar, Transstar, Low Star. I it's know. the Star Series. It's a Star Series. Yeah. It's a huge truck. And we're actually, it's parked right beside an old Mac you can see in the background. If you haven't seen that video, Man, you talk about obstacle after obstacle mm -hmm. after obstacle to get that thing cr maybe cranked up. I don't know, did we? It's up to you. You got to go check it out. So go check out that video if you want to see the old Mac crank up. But right beside it is this old International. And it's just a massive truck. Massive. Uh, so we're going to walk around it. We're going to look at it. We're going to check out the suspension on it. We're going to check out the inside. And we're going to fire this puppy up, man. It's uh, do, or, do we have tire, air in the tires? Can I think so. It? Unlike that other one that you was describing, I think all the tires is aired up on Yeah, maybe one. we'll get to be able, maybe we can drive this around once we get it, uh, once we get it fired up. Because we're going to get it fired up. Yeah. I've seen the ending. I'm just kidding. Now we're filming this. <laughs> 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 Let's go start working on this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna get me some knee cots and uh, work on this thing a little bit. I had one. They're fresh. Fresh, good. Wiley, let's start from the back and work our way to the front. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This suspension is thick, but I I th I've seen something on this truck I've never seen before. It's got a two by four mm -hmm. in the channel of the of the frame. Yeah. I've never seen that, and that's the, and someone put that there. Yeah. That keep it from bending over? I think so. I got a piece of beef jerky. I <laughs> got through eating them knee cuts. <laughs> hard to talk. Mm -hmm. Hey, so what do you think about the uh, current crisis? In, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look at this. Look at the brake system back here. Yeah. I haven't ever noticed any brakes like that before. Most ones got brake boosters with a long cam, that the S cam. cam. Yeah. I'm sure that's an S cam in there behind these, but I guess this is such a heavy payload. It's got right. Well, somebody I know has seen this. Before. Yeah, well, I you, haven't seen it. What do you think about this setup for the uh, for the brake system? Let us know in the comments below. It's almost to me. It looks like a suspension that might have come out of a military truck or something. Because how those bogies are sitting on top, mm -hmm. usually, you know, the rounds got the banjo housings. This is this way. These banjo housings are up, pointed up. Mm -hmm. Well, like the Mac over there. Like a Mac. Yep. Yep. And that does look like a five-ton suspension, don't it? Welded the. Listen, this. I don't know who. This must have been that welder's first down the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, well, the tires are military tires. But that don't mean this, you know, the back end is military, but it very well could have been. Yeah. You know? That's just what I think. But it's, special, it's a special built truck, and that's right. the same people that built it could have built military trucks and put that suspension right. in there like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely been heavily modified. Yeah. You can tell that for sure. All Before right. Before we get going crazy, let's check the engine and make sure everything's oh, yeah. on the engines. Nothing's missing like oh, the starter. Call. Good call. We're gonna raise this bad boy up. Trans Star 4300. Last tag in oh. 02. Oh, it's got a Cummins in it. They got springs on it? Yeah. Uh, 
Yes. Something's holding it. Yeah, they're up top. Is that a V Cummins? It is. I don't know if I've ever seen one, to be honest yes, with you. Yes, you have. Which, where at? Uh, like a Detroit 6V. I know, but not, I'm talking about a Cummins. I don't know if I've ever like seen Like an 8V92 or something like that with a V. We just tried to start one in a... But it was a Detroit. Oh, yeah. What is this Cummins? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever this seen... This is like it. a 903. I bet you that's a 903. Okay. Leave a comment below if you know what Cummins that is. Yeah. I've never personally seen a V block. I believe Cummins. a 903 is a V block. Yeah. And I don't see, I don't see nothing on this side as far as like the fuel pump or dipstick or. I see the dipstick. Well, you want to check it out? I see the fuel. Look at big old, look at that big old hook right there. Oh, that's the, that's the water filter. All right, let's see. I mean, the starter is easy to access over here. Well, that's a plus. It is a plus, knowing us, knowing our look. I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big truck. Golly Moses. All right. Oh, this is a short one, Hank. This is my kind of stick. <laughs> this thing's making oil. This thing starts curly on top, then... Look there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I could just ring that big old hole. I'm going to take the water while I'm here. I can smell it. I don't. I can't necessarily see it. It's got. It's not a turbo. You know. Mm -hmm. I think it's gutless, Hank. I don't think it has a whole lot of power. Well, just low end like stuff, a fuel like torque stuff. Type. Uh, but there's some mechanic screaming right now, said, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. Let's get some cleaner, clean this valve cover off and see if it says it. See if it's anything in writing we can read. Okay. You got stuff on your side? Because I just have a Cummings label on my side. Well, and I, you know what I get a crack kick out of? A mule? Listen. I love my viewers. Love yes. the subscribers. Love the commenters. Yeah. The people, we're Southern. We talk different. You know? People be like, there's no G in Cummins. Uh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but if I say Cummins, 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 you say tomato, I say tomato. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of things I say wrong. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how I got off on that tangent. Well, there is a lot of things you say wrong. That's fact. That's Jack. a fact. Jack. All right. Yeah, let's get some. Let's clean up these valve covers. I don't see anything. I thought we might have something in right out here on this valve cover, but nothing. Nothing. Uh. -uh. Let's see the. Let me see what the door. Hey, you think we should Google eight V Cummins and see if they okay give us an option and we can choose? Yeah. I'm going to look at uh, the door panel, see. But long about in the late 80s, I believe that they come out with these Cummins 903s and their fuel squeezers. They're supposed to get a lot better fuel mileage. Early 80s, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, early 80s, not late 80s. Two, 204 horsepower. You know? Okay. Let's Google 204 horsepower. This might be another tow job, buddy. You know what? The what? This is another tow job. Look at this. They've got the steering wheel tied to, tied to the gear shifter. You know what they did? They, they These were sitting somewhere and they moved them with an excavator, a back, uh, I mean a front end loader, and they tied them just to keep them straight. Yeah. Look at that brake pedal, dude. Look at that. Mm-hmm. It looks like a big, I mean, golly, you had a big foot. Winch lights, air switch. Oh, wait a minute now, what's this turbo switch? 
it's got a turbo toggle switch. But I didn't see a turbo on there. It's got a key in it, Wiley. It'll start then. I believe it will. 17636 on the on the clock. This is so cool. These. But it is a V8 on the Cummins is a V8 engine. Yeah. Let's see if this one. That's got a turbo on it. Yeah. Is there a non-turbo? This right here is what we got. But see, it says 903 on these. On the valve cover? Yeah. Let's see. There's somebody that can enlighten us. We're not far away. Maybe they made a 903 with no... Uh... Maybe they run out of stamps. <laughs> Wiley, this truck's been sitting 20 years, by the way. 20 years. So the old Mac over there was 17 or 19, I can't remember. 17 years, 19 years. This one's 20 years. Well, and you know, I couldn't turn the other one by hand a while ago, so that don't necessarily mean nothing, does it? Yeah, I'd say I don't necessarily mean nothing, but This is so cool. Did you say the fuel pump was on the other side? <laughs> is that vented diesel? <laughs> it must, must be the old vented diesel. Make it cheap. You weren't holding your mouth right. Wiley, I can see it from here. Oh yeah, look at it pushing the stick up. That's because I see some it's stuff. It's floating a bobby. <laughs> I mean, it's full. Yeah. Indeed. It's and it's been, red. Indeed, it's been 20 years. That's back before. That's back when his leg had run off road fuel. Uh, I know you drifted on my sure can. Tell us what color it was. The sure can? I'll put the Amazon link in the link in the description below. In the, in the pinned comment, I'll put a link to this sure can. Have we not used that thing? There was one guy that complained, and I don't doubt it. You can always get a bad something. He's always leaked, but we have never no. had any trouble out of what we use, and we use them religiously. Um, and, and they they go through the they bounce around the tailgate. Mm -hmm. They do everything. I'll put now they're expensive. They're expensive. I think they're like 50, 60, 70 bucks. But I'm telling you, I'm, when I bought mine, I've had mine, what, four years now, I think I've had this one. Yeah. Something like that, four years. I think I get $50 for mine. And I think they're up to $70 because everything's inflation or whatever. Yeah. But if you watch this in 2030, you'll be like, man, I remember the days when they were selling these for yeah. $70. <laughs> Go to Amazon, buy you one of these. I, pro I promise you won't be disappointed. No, they're nice. They're yeah. handy. All right. Uh... Batteries, batteries. Something's gonna be a little different about this one in injector pump. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, but there's something a little different. Well, I think it has to be on the other side. I don't think it is. I think it's all right in up here. Up top? Yeah. Let me see if the pedal will accelerate and you can see if anything's okay. moving. Yeah, that's a good idea. All these if I can get past this big old brake leak, the pedal wires go somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, it's up top, Wiley. Huh? It's almost, it's almost like a carburetor set up. Yeah. Know what I'm trying to say? I know what you're saying. Actually, okay. Which goes to here, which goes to here. 
this is the throttle cable and it goes down to here where does that go On that spring right there. Yeah, it's connected to that spring. Yeah, that's almost very carburetor ish esque. Very carburetor esque. Yeah, it does not have an inline fuel pump. What did I do with that wire brush? It's up right here. So I just saw it somewhere over here, like right in here somewhere. Is it on the ground right there? Did I kick it? I literally just you saw did. it. Yeah. So do we put fuel? Let's grab right here and see if you see a 903. Nope. No, sir. <laughs> Why yes, I do. <laughs> okay, here's a here's a fuel line. I think. Where's this go to right here? To the wiggle it again. Fuel tank. Yes, that's a fuel line. Air. That's air. Air. Mm-hmm. Probably got an air keel on it. Okay. Well, here. Okay. This goes. That's your air. That's your good air. That's your air uh, compressor. It does. That's there. Yeah. It does favor an air compressor. That's what it is. That's your air compressor. But Wiley, here's the thing. That. So the fuel pump must be in front of it. It's yeah, well, no, it's it, it's either no, it's sitting on top because here's your fuel filters right here. That's water filters. The, are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure this goes straight to uh, it. Go back at the hose coming out of it, Hank. This this no, one with the hose coming out of that right there. Follow it to here. That's water jacket. Okay, so but not this one. Okay. And the, and I don't think these two are connected. But no, I know they're not. If one's water and another one's fuel. Well, no. What I'm saying is, you know, how you think sometimes you get like two fuel filters. Well, oh yeah, it's a, it says fuel filter on the side of it. Duh. All right. So what we'll do, if we can, since we're this close to our previous one, we'll rob the. We'll just see if we can start it. Yeah, let's like see if it ain't locked up. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, let's just throw batteries on. We can talk for hours. <laughs> let's, let's throw a battery on it. People, people has had enough, Hank. <laughs> they want good videos. Not talking. Boy, we get that, don't we? A lot more action. I want action tonight. Satisfaction. All right. You know what I'm talking about? No. Poison. Hades hairband. Oh boy. You poisoned my mind with that. <laughs> That's definitely ground. Grounded to the frame. I got a buddy of mine who owns a uh, photography business called Off My Frame. Oh. Made me think about that. Y'all need to check him out. Off my frame. He does photography stuff. Now here comes the, the real test. Oh, look at that. Shock. It's that liquid wrench. This gets done. Years of rust. Means nothing. Perfect.
And you just slide the batteries out from under that, can't you? Yeah. I ain't sliding nothing. <laughs> I ain't sliding nothing. Okay, okay. That jumper, sir. The ones that were on there, no bueno for my Spanish speaking friends. Hang on before you hook up the back ones. Let's get these long ones in. I'm sorry. Hang on before you hook up. These? Well, I guess we can just see if it's bumping. Right, 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 right. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of bumping grinding. Oh, Lord. We're going to have people start unsubscribing. We keep start, start singing songs while Thanks, sir. Still got nothing on the battery. Really? Gauge, nothing. Uh, does that matter? We got fire to the dash now. Yeah, I didn't have it grounded. Okay. 20 years! See if it'll bump over. Oh yeah, she's not locked up. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna bump it again. Hands clear? Yes, sir. Clear prop. It's yeah, almost started. Do you hear anything sound like it's clicking, Hank? Not not out I hear it inside the cab. Okay. All right. You want to hook a fuel line to it? Let's place some ether to it. Don't forget to check us out on other platforms at Hamiltonville Farm. So a lot of times, Wiley would go out on his own. He'll find equipment. He'll take some video snippets of it. And they never end up in a, in a one standalone video. But I got some really cool footage from Wiley that I think you guys are might be interested in seeing so let's interrupt the trans star just for a minute let's show you this clip that wiley took while he was out by himself one day and then we'll get back to the trans star and see if we can't actually get it fired up it's saturday morning and we're headed up here to load up a piece of equipment well i say we ain't he's busy this morning with a sunflower festival another saturday and i don't have hands about that. I should be at the truck here in about 15 20 minutes, which would be about three seconds for y'all. And we'll see if we can't get this old thing loaded and get you some more information about what we're doing this morning. But the truck's here this morning. Y'all seen this truck before on our videos loading up. These people are out of Kentucky. Uh-oh. Something happened there. Pretty nice looking Peterbilt there. But anyway, we're going to, uh, like I said earlier, we're going to try to get out here and get this piece of equipment loaded. Uh, hope y'all can hang around and see what we got going on.
deal with us. This is really dusty here, as you can tell. There's the two machines that we're going to be picking up. We're not going to pick both of them up today. Let me get down here and I'll show you what we have to do. This is the machine we're picking up today. Now that's a 460D edging down. First thing we're going to have to do is get in here and, and get the parking brakes backed off of it. I got the hose from the parts house this morning and I hope I got the right size. I think I do. But there's four things we got to do. We got to get the parking brakes released. We got to get the boom up and we got to get the blade up. We're going to put the axles together, chain the axles together so it don't swivel. And hopefully we can just take this this machine right here it does run or that big john deere green one up there or big john deere green one that big green john deere up there and push this thing on the low boy and maybe in hank's words 10 minutes i hope y'all hang around just see what happens okay there's a hydraulic hose i had made up this morning uh I wasn't sure if it was an eight or a 10. So I got a, I got both. And then once we hook it up to the parking brakes, we're just gonna pump it full of grease. We've done that before. I think y'all have seen it on the video before. So let me get down there and I'm by myself. So I don't have a tripod. I got a me pod. And I'm gonna do the best I can to keep y'all along. And so y'all can see how I have to do this by myself without old Hank. It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try. Okay, guys, I got that off really uneventful, but I just couldn't do it one-handed. That hole somewhere right in there on the bottom is where I'm going to try to hook this uh, other hose up that I can pump the brakes off. Again, I'm gonna have to put y'all down cause I can't do this one-handed. I hope y'all haven't said nah yet, and I hope you're still hanging on to see what happens. If you can see the line that I've got the uh, wrench hooked to, that's where I'm uh, attempting to go. If anybody knows an easier way to pump the brakes off on a G3, please leave a comment. I, I would like to use hydraulic oil, but I've got no way to pressurize it. I don't know how to pressurize it with hydraulic oil or what kind of pump I could use. I, I'm sure the grease is hard to get out of that system once we put it in there. But it's the only way I know to unlock it. The brakes, the parking brakes work on the transmission. It's a lot easier to do this than it is to do all these U-joints and and get the drive lines out of it. So we're going this way with it. I don't know if you can see it or not. But uh that's what I'm trying to do is get that started. I'd been twisting and what I like about the JICs is they are kind of made up pretty quick. I'm having difficulty lining this and straight up just because of position the hose in, but I'm not gonna give up on it. So hang with me. We're gonna get her done. That took about 45 minutes at least. But we got that hooked up. He's gonna get an air grease gun and uh we're gonna see if we can't get these pump brakes pumped off. But that was a challenge right there. I'm just as greasy, dirty. But I, I did not expect that to take that long. I thought I was better than that, but evidently I wasn't. Where's Hank when you need him? Actually, the guy that I bought this from actually come over here and started it for me. So anyway, we got that done. We're about to see if we can get some grease in there to get these parking brakes released. We're gonna bump it. He's up on the hill up there. Uh, detached up there to him. We're gonna chain this grapple up. We're gonna chain this blade up. We're gonna chain these uh, rear axles together, front and rear axles together. And we're gonna see if we can't get this loaded headed to Kentucky. He has this air grease gun. I can't tell how much grease I'm putting in there. He's gonna bring this machine around here. I'm gonna hook the cable to the front end and he's just gonna keep a little pressure on it. And once it releases, it's released. He's new to that machine too. He's been running these. Uh, he don't know everything about it. I know nothing about it. I could play around with it and get it, but we're gonna see what we can do. That thing runs so smooth. No jerking around. That's a 748L. 
the brakes loose uh, we chained the, the grapple up got the blade released a little bit and we were just about to head to go try to load this thing the government juice stepped in so what turned out to be maybe a easy thing is taking a little longer stay with us folks we we got to get her down. I thought we was about to go. This 460 timber jack, 460D timber jack, and that 648G3 are actually the same machines. One's just painted green and called timber jack because y'all may not know, but John Deere bought timber jack out and somewhere in two or three or somewhere and you see it's got the yellow boom where they either replaced it or all the paint wore off of it i think they probably replaced that boom but anyway once you skin all the black back it's yellow it's all john deere but you'll be surprised at the people that go uh-uh i ain't having one of those i want one of them yellow ones over there they're better machines i think he just gave me the nod it's ready all right The chain wasn't strong enough to hold. They was right. What else is here? The brakes had leaked off some.
I know this is crazy, but we got to bump it over just a little bit again. Same driver. Maybe the same side of the truck. We got this operator been running us. He can run it better than I can. Guys, we had a hard time getting that. We had some troubles that I didn't foresee. The skidder had to reach in, the ramps on the low boy. But we got it loaded in this head of Kentucky. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I kind of want to take off this air filter, but anyway. All right, bud, whenever you're ready. All right, let's see what it do. That's amazing. <laughs> 20 years, Wiley. <coughs> Does it seem like we're getting white smoke? Uh, I didn't look. Do it again. I got it. That is amazing. <laughs> Over there. That's awesome. That, that wasn't even no ether. So, yeah. We're getting some smoke. That is crazy, man. connected to the truck.
the whole the whole rear end is like canting. Okay. You know? Like the bogey or something, yeah. Yeah. So uh, like it's like it's almost not connected to the frame. Alright. See if I pull it up if it straightens it out. Come on with it. There you go. Brakes are locked down. Let me see down. if the, let me see if the, huh? Brakes are locked down, huh? Well, I was gonna see if Yeah, you got it off the flat spot. That's incredible. I mean, seriously, that's incredible. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Our first V Cummins. Yeah. And to have it move like that, that was pretty. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Give me some of that right there. We can't. We deal. We can't go because we don't have a horn. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna leave me hanging. That's cool. Though. We were stripped it. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Twenty years it's been sitting here. Yeah. Twenty years. Fired right up. I wish they was all this easy. It was a pretty easy one, wasn't it? Yeah. But you know what, man? We we were about about due for an easy yeah, one. Yeah, we do for about twenty easy ones in a row. Man, we've had some we've had some hard ones for sure. Yeah, I've been trying to get you stopped by the Chevrolet place, and let's start some twenty twenty three. Model twenty twenty. Do a will it start? Yeah. So, well, this has been awesome, man. We uh, this has been th this was a fun one. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't we didn't have to mess with the the V the V block much, so that was pretty cool. You know. And uh, fuel was still primed up, didn't take much to all right. Yeah, uh, see, so yeah, because we shot it with a shot of ether, and then you was like, Well, let's try it again, or whatever you said, I can't remember. And then it fired right up without me spraying ether in it, mm -hmm. so it was already good to go. Yeah, so either the brakes are locked up because they're you know, it's been sitting 20 what? years, or because of air. Uh, yeah, the parking brakes are on the rear. Yeah, that's right. The, that's like, probably why it's got two boosters. Yeah. Yeah. And it just hadn't got enough air or something to release them. Or we could drive this in the parade. We could drive it in a parade. Christmas, Thanksgiving parade, Macy's. Yeah. This is this video will be out in December of 2022. So if you're watching it when it gets released, uh, we hope you have a Merry Christmas. If indeed it comes out before Christmas, which I think it's coming out before Christmas. So I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you're watching it after it's been released and we're into 2023 already, check out the great content that we've got coming out in 2023. It's We've got some stuff lined up that will just blow your mind. There's no telling where we'll be. In 23. <laughs> There's no telling what we might see. <laughs> In 2023. But, we've, man, we have a blast. We appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button, turning on your notification bell. I'm going to give you a preview of what's coming up in a future video. You guys take care. God bless you guys. Next on Hamiltonville Farm.
for watching the video. Links for merch and discount codes are in the description box below.